It's the Winnie Williams Show. How you doing? The kids have come to play today. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. With all due respect, have several seats. My girls are always turned out. I give it to you straight, no chaser. Now. It's time for. Hot topic. You know it. <laughs> yeah. So wow. on the cheer. <laughs> love you, Wendy. Thank you, I love you more. Thank you very much for being here. <laughs> I don't wear boots a lot on the show because when I go in the audience for Ask Wendy and stuff, I gotta take the boots off because the rafters move and people, people wanna hug and shake hands and stuff and I'm scared to fall on the steps. So today I'm wearing the boots, but just attention everyone. I'll be in flats in the audience and I'll ruin the whole look. Um, hi. So. <laughs> So Rihanna has had a rocky past few months. We've been following it, but she just got some great news. Have you heard the quack, quack, quack song? Yeah. Has, has, has become. Yeah. Now look, I was just telling you yesterday that that song I don't like. I think it's like stupid. There's like no talent to it. <laughs> I don't like Drake's part, I don't like the work work, and we miscounted, because I told you yesterday that she says work 85 times, but it's in fact 88 times. <laughs> but here's the thing, you know how when you don't like a song, and there are many of them out there, you don't like it when it first comes out, but after you hear it so much, you start to not just like it, but work to it, <laughs> and, and know all the words to it. Well, that's how this song has affected me. So Work, Work, Work is um, her 14th number one single. Now, now, might not sound like a big deal to you just because I just said it's 14, but let me just do a comparison, okay? Rihanna has only, uh, she's had, um, she's only four songs away from beating Mariah Carey with the all time <laughs> number one single in life. She's already beat the Beatles. No, wait, no, she hasn't. Not yet. She's six yeah. songs away from beating the Beatles. The Beatles had 20 number ones, singles. And Mariah is in second place with uh, 18. Here, here's the, um, should I move my chair? Here. I'll move my chair to show you. Wait, do I move my, wait, just, what do I do? All right, well, you see Stevie Wonder. All right, that, thank you. A little cooperation in the control room would help. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes, oh gosh. Anyway, Stevie Wonder's over here with 10 number one singles. Next is Janet Jackson, 10 number one singles. This is, you know, over the span of their careers. Whitney had 11, as you can see, the Supremes with 12, Madonna with 12, Michael Jackson with 13. I'm shocked that Rihanna has beat Michael Jackson <laughs> with number ones. I'm shocked that she's beat um, Whitney Houston with number ones. And I'm also shocked that she's beat Madonna with number ones. I'm also shocked that, um, you know, she will end up being, um, she will claim that title of best selling single artist of all time. And I'm gonna tell you why she's gonna do it. Because a lot of the people on this list are either passed on or their new music is not relevant. So let's get into it. Now, 
I feel like because Rihanna is younger, because she identifies with her fans, who they call the Navy, you know, and I think that she does that more than other artists do, either from back in the day or present day. Like, I love Mariah Carey. You all seem to think I'm a hater, but I don't want to. <laughs> Mariah Carey's record will be trumped by Mariah because we, Mariah does not have four hot singles left in her soul. <laughs> And there's only one, am I saying it or am I saying it? <laughs> like, like if you go see Mariah in Vegas, you don't wanna hear new music. No. You wanna hear all the stuff, except for Vision of Love. <laughs> that was never my cut. I never liked that song, that was her first single. Anyway, um, and then, well, we know what happened with Michael and the Beatles. Uh, Madonna, Madonna does not have uh, new music in her. We wanna hear Vogue and stuff. Yeah. You know? Holiday is probably my favorite because it makes me happy and crazy for you always makes me cry. Aww. It's a yes, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Um, the Supremes, well, they're not together anymore. <laughs> Whitney is not with us anymore. Nobody cares about new Janet music. Aww. Now I understand there's a little something floating around. I don't like it and a lot of people aren't talking about it. She does not have the music in her anymore and Stevie just, you know, live off the legendary stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's all. But I can tell you this. I'm also shocked that Beyonce is nowhere on this list. Right? Well, you know what, you guys? That just goes to show you that awards and being um, um, gifted, you know, celebration don't mean a lot. Beyonce's not on that list, and Leonardo DiCaprio, as of right now, still doesn't have an Oscar. But, but. But, but, if I could only buy one concert ticket, I would still buy Beyonce's. Yeah. And, um, and he will, and Leo will always be the wolf, although he'll win on Sunday night, but no. <laughs> but back to these girls and what do awards really mean and these celebrations and stuff, they really mean nothing because Beyonce's not on the list and clap if you still go see Beyonce. Yeah. If you had ticket for one uh, uh, money for one ticket, would you go see Rihanna instead? Yeah. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Like, what do these celebrations really mean in the in the grand scheme of who's great and who's not? And by the way, um, this uh, Rihanna will not be a legend. Nope. Nope. Beyonce will do her residency in Vegas at 55 years old and, and you will go see her. Rihanna will attempt to do it, but as soon as she gets up there and, and says the B word, better have my money. Like, <laughs> Rihanna is good for right now, but she's not a legend, nor will she be. That's all. Sometimes it's so difficult doing this show. <laughs> I'm up here hyperventilating, trying to, get, trying to get the story out so you guys don't scream back at me so you understand exactly what I'm saying. And just a mess. <laughs> Kesha's legal battles are um, forming feuds between people who love her. Demi Lovato versus Taylor Swift. Aww. By the way, I'm Team Taylor. Wait, I mean, oh, no, no, sorry. I meant I'm Team Demi. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why. All right. So remember I was telling you that Taylor Swift gave um, $250,000 towards the cause of helping uh, Kesha out. Kesha's going through this legal problem. And then a lot of the other girls who love Taylor, or um, Kesha, got on the Googler and sent her nice messages, but none of them coughed up the dough. Not that Kesha was asking for money. I thought that it was just, <coughs> excuse me, I thought it was just a nice gesture that um, um, Taylor gave this money. And in the grand scheme of things, 
$250,000 is nothing for Taylor Swift. Right. Um, but the rest of the story is, is that Demi went off on Taylor on the thing, device, <laughs> to the masses, saying that Taylor threw money at Kesha to further her, Taylor, further her own brand. Oh. Well, you know what? I agree. Oh. I feel like Taylor Swift, like I like her from outside, and she's the kind of girl who would probably make, up, make you proud as a mom, you know, in terms of the way she handles herself. But in terms of the way she treats her girlfriends and stuff, it just seems like she's very manipulative and controlling and like that. I, I, I just, I think she's a mean girl is what I'm saying. <laughs> <clears throat> so, hold on. So Demi's quote is, take something, take something to Capitol Hill or actually speak out, then I'll be impressed. Not everyone has $250,000 just to give to people. At least I speak up, wait, at least I speak up about bleep that's uncomfortable to talk about rather than trying to be politically correct 24 seven. I agree. I agree. I mean, Demi Lovato has, you know, spoken up, you know, Capitol Hill talking about, um, is a drug, mental illness. Mental illness. Mm -hmm. And you know, Demi's been through a lot in her young life. She, you know, she's not even 30 years old yet, but she, she spoke about something for which she apparently knows about. And Taylor threw the uh, $250,000 in my mind, because Taylor wanted to be the queen bee of all the girls. Like, I'm not just gonna say it, you know, on Insta Facebook. <laughs> I'm gonna send money and win the battle of who's the baddest. I am, as Taylor, you know. Um, and Demi, you might, or Demi, sorry. Demi is the other one. <laughs> Demi, you also might be mad, because as much as me and Hot Topics could calculate, you probably don't have an extra $250,000 just laying, just, just, no, that's not a read. That is not a read. No, it's not. That's a quarter of a million dollars, and a lot of people don't have that just to throw at a situation to make it go away for one of their peers. <laughs> Doesn't mean that Demi Lovato was broke. She's a working you know, girl, she's got money, but $250,000 to solve your own problems is nothing for Demi Lovato. But $250,000 to solve somebody else's problems? No, but there's a problem. <laughs> anyway, um, Taylor's fans went in on Demi and Demi later apologized and um, you know, she said something to the effect of there's no right way or wrong way to help. So there you have it. Do you remember the actress Leah Michelle? She was on Glee. I don't know what she's doing recently, but she was on Glee. She's a really beautiful girl with the brown hair and yes. So she's back on the market. Well, you remember she was with her boyfriend um, who um, was found overdosed in Canada, Corey Monteith, and they both used to be on Glee together and they were together for like almost two years. Yeah. And so once Corey passed away, Leah got together with this guy right here. Now, I told you about this guy. I also told her leave him alone. But she didn't want to listen. So now her heart is splattered all over the turnpike. <laughs> well, here's what, here's what happened. Wait, hold on. Stop coughing. Why am I coughing? Hold on. <coughs> Back of my throat is so dry. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, so his name is Matthew, okay? But that's not the sin. <laughs> Matthew apparently blindsided uh, our girl Leah and broke up with her for no reason. He's not returning her calls or anything. Okay, they met on a music video. It was her video. He was some sort of guy on the set. Hot Topics got the word. <laughs> Hot Topics got the word that they were doing more than just you know, maybe hooking up, it's her real boyfriend now. Wow. Well, we did some digging, cause we always like to try to protect our starlets. You know, Hot Topics is here for good, not evil. <laughs> so, 
And what we found out, and we told you all through the TV, is that he reportedly <laughs> was a male companion worker <laughs> for a place called Cowboys for Angels. <laughs> now, now, yes, okay, yes. Well, apparently, Leah already knew this, but you know, sometimes people can change their stripes. <laughs> Two years into their relationship, he's gone. Wow. Yes. So can you imagine, like, like, don't tell her, but can you imagine your friends like, <laughs> like looking at you like you're pathetic and also laughing at you at the same time and throwing you pity parties? I love to party, but I don't like a pity party. <laughs> I have to tell you right now. Now, it's, it's just how I am. I, I have a hard head, I guess. I, you could pity me for 30 seconds and then I'll be like, get off me and, and close the door behind you and I'm gonna figure this out. You watch. Anyway, so, apparently, all of Leah's friends thought he was an opportunist. I thought he was an opportunist. He opportunized, and also, here's another thing, and a shout out to all the, the um, sex workers. <laughs> but in the scheme of who's got to twerk for money, the last person in this great country of ours that I feel needs to sell their behinds for money would be a white male. Cause this country's built for you. Like, it's, like it's built for you. It's like, so, you know, for you girls out there who love going to the strip club or an occasional male prostitute, to me, say, 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 I, it's all sex work to me. It's all the same difference. Yeah. You just look out. You be careful out there because your friends are judging. People really aren't going to forgive your person's past, particularly if the country was built for him. Like we as women, we're minorities. I don't care what color you are, you know what I mean? Like we're strong, but. <clears throat> Sometimes in a woman's life, she might have to get on the track <laughs> for a moment. Anyway, Leah Michelle, I'm sorry to hear about what happened. I'm just saying, <laughs> Leah Michelle, I'm sorry for what had happened, but you are way too beautiful to be involved with a man who's not going to treat you well. That's all. <laughs> Every single story today, it seems like I've got to say the right thing before my Facebook Navy comes for me. <laughs> Chris Brown is begging Karuchi Tran back. Have you heard the lyrics to a song that he has out now? It's the remix of his song, Back to Sleep, and he devoted an entire verse to her. And, all right, here's some of the lyrics. I'm not reading them all, because I see the snow is getting set up. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I bleeped around with Keisha and Michaela. Blah, 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 blah. I want you to love me. You want me to say your name, girl? Okay, Karuchi. Perfect. So he said her name. However, you know what? Um, and I do, by the way, think that they'll be back together by June. Sometimes people have like this coexistence together and there's really no rationalizing or explaining it. Like for instance, we did not know who this beautiful young girl was until she got up with Chris. I don't know what she does now for, oh, that's right, she's in the movie with Wendy Raquel Robinson. She's coming out here later, so I'll ask. Yeah. So, but my thing is, I think that Chris has several ticks loose and he might be dangerous to himself and any girlfriend and she's been through it, but I do think that she'll get back with him. I also don't want a man to beg me for my forgiveness on a song. Like a real man does not subscribe to social media to deal with intimate matters. Or a song. You know, 
I want you to woo me back in a nice way. And maybe I'll go out for dinner with you. Until it would occur to me, oh my gosh, wait a minute though, you're the same man that followed me to the club. And then you know when you go to the club, you go to the diner afterwards. <laughs> followed her to the diner and then followed her to her house. Allegedly all in one night. <laughs> this is also the same man who told Karuchi, look, I'm going to the store. So Karuchi's in the house, turns on the TV, watching the basketball game, and sees Chris front row with Rihanna. Whoa. Okay, okay. This is also the same man, while on my time with my heart, you went out and had a oops, baby? I still feel like she'll get back with him, but she has more reason to than maybe me or you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't really know how much this role in the movie paid her, but Chris got, you know, Gucci money and private planes and all the stuff that, you know, you know, young girls like. But I'll be watching, but only with one eye, because part of me doesn't even care. Thank you. Oh God, here we go. Tropic giveaway. Come on, Suzanne. You know what? I, I kept it classy today, but it's my Cowboys for Angels look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get our contestant on the line. By the way, I was wondering why you were wearing beautiful but yes. spring slacks. Hello? 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 Sabina Hello. in Virginia, is this you? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Sabina. Wendy oh, and Suzanne here. So Sabina, you are today's contestant on Wendy's Hot Tropics giveaway. Yes! Yeah. 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 You watch our show every day with a pad and pen on WTTG. Okay, good. Do you write things down with a pad and pen? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, Sabina. Here we go. Yeah. First, we're gonna spin the wheel and find All out All right, what you big money, boys! Come on, big money! Come on, big money! Come on, big money! going to Jamaica if, and by the way, you're playing for your five day, four night stay at the all-inclusive Moon Palace Jamaica Grand in Ocho Rios. Plus you're also gonna get a couple of tickets for you and your bestie to go. It's all provided by the tickets at uh, the, uh, our friends at the uh, Jamaica Tourist Board, okay? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, Sabina, you got 15 I'm... seconds to answer this question correctly. Your first answer is your only answer. We're not gonna help you. Okay. Okay, yesterday in Hot Topics, we talked about 50 Cent posting photos with stacks of money, including the refrigerator, while declaring bankruptcy. But what word did he spell out in cash? 15 seconds and go! <laughs> yes! Congratulations. You're going on your vacation. You're going to Jamaica. Have fun at the Moon Palace, Sabina in Ocho Rios. Bye-bye. Well, if you wanna be a winner like Sabina, well, your chance to win is when you keep watching our show every day, okay? Cause the next phone call that we place might be to you.